it's almost Mother's Day. Wanted to talk about moms for a minute. Lots of moms out there. Don't talk about moms a lot. Um, there's a lot of moms out there. There's a lot of dads out there doing mom jobs too. Um, lots of single moms, single dads doing both. Um, women in general, moms have so many demands, so many pressures. Um, just to think about that, um, I'm sure you can all relate. Um, so many things that we can all think of. Um, for example, things that we have to do um, in a certain timeline um, in our lives, getting married by a certain age, um, having children by a certain age, having a certain number of children, having one boy, one girl, having two boys, two girls, having a boy first, having a girl first, um, being a working mom, not being a working mom, being a stay-at-home mother, um, so many pressures. Um, we are criticized by everyone and, and watched by everyone and judged by everyone. Um, we are terrified of making a wrong move and being judged by so many. It's terrifying being a mom sometimes, um, being a woman in general, um, being a parent. Um, who are some of the people that, that judge us? Um, our mother-in-laws, um, thankfully I don't have that issue anymore. Um, I have before, um, previous marriage. Thankfully I have a wonderful mother-in-law now. I, I love my mother-in-law, Rachel, she's, Rochelle, she's awesome. Um, uh, our, sometimes, for some of us, our partners, our husbands judge us. I don't have that e either, but um, thankfully, um, our families judge us, our moms, our dads, our, um, our children sometimes judge us and criticize us, our friends, our coworkers. Um, we constantly are just, People are watching our every move and we don't feel like we can do anything right. What a job. Um, society in general are always watching us. People are always watching us. Um, in turn, we can be our own worst enemy. Sometimes we are very judgmental of ourselves and I am guilty of this um, very often I'm very critical of myself because um, I'm a perfectionist um, I very hard on myself and I have come a long way I used to be a lot more difficult uh, to get along with for myself um, I'm not, I'm not so terrible anymore. I'm a lot more forgiving of myself. I don't put so many standards, such high standards to achieve. Um, and that's, that's very, um, very freeing. There are um, teachers who will judge us. I've had that happen a lot. Uh, having three children can sometimes be, especially if you have children that have needs that are a little bit different. If you have a child that is maybe on an IEP. Uh, I have a child with ADHD. He's grown now, but uh, he was on an IEP and 
that's another video, but um, he had some awesome teachers, but there were some teachers that were very judgmental of my parenting skills, believe it or not. Um, so there are lots of people out there that are just, I believe we should be parenting the way that we are. So some of our biggest pressures that we have as mothers, the milestones of our children. Thankfully, my kids are grown now. They are 23, 21, and 18. So I don't have as many pressures, but I still have them, believe it or not. Um, it seems like when your kids are young, when they're babies, um, toddlers, young school age children is when I remember having more of this. Maybe some of you moms can differ from this or have similar stories. But I remember having a lot more of this and feeling a lot more of this when my kids were young. Some of the milestones, uh, if, you're, if your kid walked at a certain age or didn't, you know, if they were a slow crawler or they didn't walk at a certain age or if they sucked their thumb or if they breastfed too long or didn't breastfeed, you know, you were judged for that or, you know, you've had those, those pressures, those milestones that your, your child didn't reach or if they didn't talk, you know, at a certain age or or a slow talker or you know used baby words too long um, you might have been judged for that <laughs> so many pressures as a mom and people will look at you like that's your fault somehow like you're a bad mother like you didn't give enough teaching you did not spend enough time with your child. You did not give enough instruction. We all know that that is simply not the case in 98% of most situations. Um, every child is different. Every situation is different. Um, but people are very hard on us. And in turn, that makes us very hard on ourselves but we need to learn to not be that way and to not let other people decide what our life should be like, what our children should be like, and begin to decide our fates. Um, decide how our life should be, how our children's life should be. We should not let those things bother us, but we do. And we do those things because it hurts our feelings. And that's normal, but we have to learn how to let those things go. Um, and to not be so competitive with other people because every child is different. Um, some of the other pressures that, that moms face are um, personal things like our looks. Um, it's really hard for women because we, I think, are more pressured than men Men have pressures too, of course, but women are certainly more pressured than men, in my opinion, to look a certain way, um, to have a certain physical look, to have, um, you know, a certain weight, a certain um, look to them, um, and that's that's tough. We're, we have pressure to keep up the house, uh, to keep our houses clean, to... Um, have dinner made. Um, we have pressures to have a good relationship with our partner. And a lot of times we feel like that's our responsibility to keep those things up. Um, our career, we have pressure of our, our career if we're working. If we're not working, we have the pressure of keeping the household, everything running smoothly. Um, 
big pressure is finances. If we're the one that does the finances, that is a huge pressure on us, keeping the bills, keeping the budget, everything. Um, that can be a full-time job in its own. Um, our time management, um, I struggle with that greatly. Just trying to make everything work um, against the clock from the time I get up to, you know, getting my kid to school and getting myself to work and planning out the rest of my day to when I get home to make dinner and the laundry and getting to bed on time and getting enough sleep. I mean, it's just, there's so much to do. Um, the feeling of that we just take all this on and a lot of times we feel like we're doing it all ourselves without any help. Um, and I think a lot of it is we feel like we have the pressure that we have to do it all and we have to say yes to everything. Um, there's a lot of other things, of course, but um, some of the things that that we say yes to are just completely unnecessary. Um, and that's that's an entire other video um, that, that, that I'll have someday. But um, moms need to learn to say no. That's something I've struggled with um, for a long time and I've gotten a lot better at it. And because of this, I have gained a large amount of my freedom back and a large amount of my sanity back. Um, I felt a huge commitment to say yes to everyone, to everything, because I didn't want to upset people. I didn't want to disturb the waters. I didn't want people to think that I was ugly and mean and not willing to help. Um, but it was at my expense and my sanity. Um, as moms, we can't, we can't afford to give those things up because it is at our expense and it is at our sanity. And the ones that pay are, are us, our families, our children. Um, and the sooner we realize that, the better, because it's just not worth it. Um, we sacrifice our self-care, our self-worth, and it just doesn't work. Um, for the moms that have done that, you know. Um, so we've got to learn to say no to the homeroom mom, the snacks to the ball games, the being the babysitter, the, the chaperone, being that mom that always picks the kids up and takes the kids home every time. Um, the, the mom that always has the kids over and never the mom that sends their kid over to the other house. Um, the person that dog sits, the person that house sits, the substituting, the coaching, the bake sale coordinator, the party coordinator, the fundraiser, um, all of that. You have to say no sometimes. Um, it's okay to say yes, but you can't say, you can't say yes every time. Your relationships will suffer and you will suffer. Um, any of these sound familiar to you? Um, moms, dads, single parents. Yeah, there's a lot more. You have to say no. You have to say no. Get good at saying no. Practice it. Say it out loud. Just say no. It's okay. People might be upset. Um, but they'll get over it. If they're your friend, if they're really your friend, they'll be okay. They'll, I promise you, they'll be okay. Um, what begins to happen to us emotionally when we begin to feel the effects of all of these pressures and judgments? We withdraw, we become angry um, and anxious, we become resentful, we become hopeless, depressed, um, we might lose weight, 
we might gain weight. We stop caring about the way we look, our appearance. We don't care about our abilities. We don't care about what we can do, what, what we once dreamed about doing. None of that stuff matters to us anymore. And that's not okay because those are our things and those were once important to us and if you don't have things that are important to you anymore you have lost yourself my friend we have to have things that are our own as parents as moms you have to hold on to those things and you cannot lose them. Don't be that mom that shows up to the school in her pajamas and her slippers because she is so worn out and depressed and she has run herself ragged because she has done all of these things and she has never said no and never spent any time on herself. My dog, Axel Rose, has just come up the stairs to visit. He's the only one that knows how to climb up the stairs, so he, he had to say hello. Um, don't be that mom. You don't want to be that mom. Um, we're gonna get this back up right again, probably. Um, you, you really, don't want to be that mom don't don't be that mom that never goes out and has a drink with her girlfriends <clears throat> the dad that never goes out and has a drink with his guy friends because they might miss something with their kid <clears throat> or they need to be on standby <clears throat> because their kid might need a ride somewhere um, don't don't be that mom that says you know what my husband's gonna be home at five and I need to have dinner made and on the table when he gets home I need to have the house clean there's nothing wrong with that I make dinner most every night for my husband and my family and I enjoy doing that um, but he will never say to me hey you need to have dinner on the table if I say I'm going out with my friends for a drink. Um, don't let your spouse or your partner walk all over you. If you need a night out, you need a night out. Same goes for dad. Um, very often dads give too much of themselves. Um, there are moms that are, that are very selfish um, and take advantage of dad sometimes, and vice versa. It's our own fault if we let our partner take advantage of us. And very much on the same note, if we let our children take advantage of us, that is no one's fault but our own. You should never let things get to that point. You must demand respect in your house. You are the parent. <clears throat> you need to have healthy boundaries um, for everyone in your life, um, whether it's your child, your partner, your friend. Um, we must make it known that we, we value our own life and our self-worth. We must make everyone aware that we will not sacrifice our own self-worth and um, our own pleasures in life all the time to make everyone else happy because in turn what happens we're not happy and that's not fair is it this is a perfectly healthy boundary and it is necessary in all personal relationships in order for them to be 
successful. You must have boundaries. Um, others that are not practicing self-care um, and self-love, I uh, want to talk about that for a minute. Um, mothers have to have this in place. You must have self-love. On that note, we're going to end with this being in part one of my Mother's Day video. There's a little bit more I want to talk about, and we're going to do that in a part two. So thank you for watching. Happy Mother's Day.